Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today, I am very excited to bring you my review of New Age H45B Strangelove. This is their version of a shattered glass G1 Jetfire, or my preference, Skyfire. Uh, the first version, Firefox, is amazing. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. And this guy is no exception also. He's very awesome. So we're going to do things in reverse order since we showed the transformation for Firefox from robot to jet mode. Now we're going to do jet mode to robot mode. Let's take a look at them. And New Age definitely doesn't disappoint. He's got Tampo stamps. Zero one on both sides, just below the cockpit. A QC pass sticker. I'll remove that at some point. But everything done in black is not painted, which is a little disappointing. But I'm sure there will be probably another painted version of this released. You've got the green for the cockpit this time, the windshield, which does open up. Once again to reveal the, the silver painted seats, which looks fantastic. Uh, purple here for the connection right above the neck in robot mode. You, once again, you've got the, the charcoal silver, charcoal and silver paint apps. Wings are different. You've got the, the incomplete World War II style U.S. Air Force emblem, I believe. And once again, zero one and silver coming down the wings and also on the tails. It's not the cleanest, but it's not bad at all, really. It's only when you really get close to look at it. Uh, black paint along the trimming for the the backpack, but I do love the green here. And I don't know, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but mine just doesn't want to seem doesn't seem to want to close good along this connection. It might have something to do with a, a few sprue marks. So I'll work with that later, but it still looks fantastic. Coming around to the back, you've got the silver painted engines, which look really nice. A purple on the side of the legs. There's the view from the bottom. Nothing changes here. And he once again does have the landing gear, which they don't have wheels, but it's nice that they included them. And I do love it when landing gear are installed or designed to fold backwards. That way, if you slide it forward, they're not going to collapse. Just good engineering, in my opinion. But overall, jet mode looks pretty awesome. And just in case you were wondering, if you do have some blast effects, you can utilize them. The Hasbro style blast effects on the engines. Actually turns out looking pretty good. And that brings me to his accessory. Which there's only one. Which is his cannon. It's not like we got with Firefox. It's more of a Macross style. But it looks really good with the green accent paint along the side. And some nice... Sculpted detail as well. You can store it here as with Firefox. Just installs underneath the canopy or the, yeah, the canopy. And if you have the landing gear down, once again, it does not interfere with it sitting on the shelf. So you can have that look if you want. Just for comparison, here he is with the original release of Firefox. I haven't gotten the chameleon one, the painted version. But there are definitely a few more paint apps than on the original. It's missing the, the red stripe here, but you've got the addition of the silver detailing on the sides. Rather than just white. 
Other than that, same thing, different colors. Well, of course, the Zero One and the the Air Force Insignia. But again, both amazing versions of Jetfire. Strange Love in his robot mode. Let's take a look. 
does have a tremendous face sculpt done in silver with red eyes. Looks really good. As far as the head, you can tilt all the way up. A little bit down. No side to side, but you do have a full full rotation. Detail, not detail, but transformation bits visible across the shoulders, but that's okay. Red plastic here on that, once again, on that connection. Shoulders can go out full 90. You do have rotation. The points on his elbows do have the ability to move in and out and forward a little bit, giving you a little bit more than 90 degrees on the bend, which is nice. Uh, these shoulder pads can also pivot, so you have the option of how you want to display those. Hands do have rotation. And they're all on one pin. They're, there's no individual fingers. And the thumbs are fixed. Looking at the chest, you do have the silver and the charcoal silver coming through. Here is the rotatable chest plate option. So you've got two that have a rise for a smaller Autobot symbol. They protrude out a little bit. Or you do have the ability to just make it flat for a larger symbol, which is nice. It's good to have options. Now you do have waist rotation. Just bear in mind that it will impact the backpack. So you're limited to about there unless you undo the backpack. You do have a very decent ab crunch. We've got purple paint here on the waist. Uh, hip skirts can bend out of the way and the leg joint goes into the hips giving you the ability to kick up that far and out that far and back if you want. Rotation at the hip joint. You do have a double joint in knee so more than 90 on the on the on the knee bend. Feet can pivot up and down. And you do have a rocker. One thing I've noticed, there's a lot of people that tend to pose them like that, which for me, that gives me gives them some stability issues. But it, it does give a little bit more height, but I prefer to rotate it down and recess it inside the leg. It just makes it, for me, look cleaner and allows them to stand more stably, with more stability. Uh, again, you have the boosters, this time smaller, since the larger boosters store in the feet. The fins, which you can display as you see fit. And I failed to mention the blue stripe on the fins in jet mode. Looks really good. And then again, the green, this time compacted with the backpack. So overall, a very fantastic figure. And you do have full 360 on the shoulders, as you would expect. But you can now bring in the rifle. And it does just simply slide into the hand on the grooves. But it does hold perfectly fine. And I do like the look of that, that rifle as well. So, overall, robot mode and alt mode for this figure look fantastic. Once again, here he is with the original Firefox. Again, fantastic mold. I did notice that he has purple on his kneecaps, which there's no coloration there in the original, but it's just added detail makes it uh, makes it an awesome figure. Here he is with Iron Factory's version of Shatterglass Jetfire, uh, Dark Sickness.
another another figure that I do recommend. And here he is with New Age's Emperor Shatter and Magic Square's uh, Shattered Glass Ironhide. So overall, how do I feel about the figure? I think he's fantastic. I wish there could have been some paint as far as the black goes. But what the paint that is there looks great. The, uh, the, the face sculpt, the painted silver, and the eyes really do give him a menacing look. And I think it's fantastically done. Not much to say about it as far as negatives, really, at all. So, do I recommend it? Yes, it's a fantastic, well-engineered, well-sculpted, and well-articulated figure. I got mine from thetoydojo.com. Check them out. Great company to work with. And they get their products to you fast. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to get your bell on so you get notified of future content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.